He's the Vince Carter yeah. of, uh, <laughs> of baseball. Of baseball. <laughs> All right, I don't think we're gonna go that far. Yeah, he played 20 years. That's also really long. If anything, his no, he's, the, he's the Vince Carter of baseball. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop, boop. Hey friends, welcome back. So I have my brother here today, and if you guys recall, last year we actually went to Wrigley Field in uh, Chicago because we want to visit a lot of these uh, ballparks in America, and it's a new baseball season, so we are here today in Pittsburgh to see uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Mets, yep. and uh, we're going to check out PNC Park. That's going to be an exciting one yeah. because a lot of people have... They, they rank it pretty high with... Um the one of the best ballparks in the, in the country. Yeah, so, and I think it's really yeah. like the view yeah. like that does it. Yeah. And it's a relatively newer stadium as well. That's true, yeah. So I think that's like a big selling point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're actually really excited. But yeah, so like now we're a little early. Um, we still have a few hours till the game starts. But just like last year with uh, Wrigley Field, what we want to do is kind of check out the area, the overall area, like the neighborhood and then the food option in PNC Park, along with just like the overall architecture, the design, just the, everything that, that PNC Park has to offer. See if it's anything like City Field, City Field. <laughs> or compared to like Wrigley Field, Wrigley Field also, yeah. or like Yankee Stadium yeah. or something, you know? Uh, just to see what they have, because yeah. that's, because I feel like each park has their own like yeah. distinct kind of yeah. specialty, yeah. which is like really cool. Yeah. Well, I would say that um, each park probably repre should represent the city. The, ci the city, you yeah. know. Yeah. All right, so let's head out. So we actually parked uh, not at the baseball stadium itself because I hear it's kind of expensive, and it's a weekend also. Yeah. So apparently, some of these like parking lots they actually have like special deals, which is, and I think this is like eight dollars for the whole day. Yeah. So I think that's way worth it. Yeah. So it looks like the Roberto Clemente Bridge is closed because they're doing construction or something. So I guess we have to go around. All right, so I guess we have to cross this bridge, which... It, it looks which exactly like the same. The 7th Street Bridge. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice view. Yeah. This one is called the Andy Orhall Bridge. Oh, is he from Pittsburgh? Yeah, he was born... I think he was born and raised in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Yeah, Didn't there's, know actually, there's actually a... a um, uh, Andy Warhol Museum. Oh, in like here? Right okay. across here. Oh, okay. That's a spot that I, that Dora and I really want to go to. Oh, yeah? True. Yeah. I mean, this might be kind of a spot to take, but I think Andy Warhol's kind of overrated, but, you know, that's just <laughs> <Whoa>, it. <man. laughs> All right, so before we explore any of, like, the neighborhood and anything, kind of want to get something to eat. Yeah. We're really hungry. We didn't get have breakfast or anything. Yeah. So. Seven hour drive. Yeah. Gonna get, like, burgers or something. So we decided to get burgers at this place called Burgatory. It's right in the neighborhood of the PNC Park, which is pretty awesome. And it's got a really nice vibe. Uh, it, got great, it got great reviews, which is why we kind of picked it. Can't wait. All right, so we just finished lunch at the Burgatory. It was really good. So it does seem like PNC Park is within the, like the city limit and like the grid system. So it does, definitely does seem like there's a lot of things to do and see. So. I guess we're just gonna walk around this neighborhood and see what uh, what it what it offers. So like yeah, right right now there's like a river walk here. I think it goes just along the Allegheny River, mm. and it has great views so far. So yeah, should we check it out? Yeah, we can check it out. Right. Oh, there's like giant baseballs over there. <laughs> National Baseball Hall of Fame. Oh no, it's only Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, yeah. Homestead Grays. So this is like their minor league. So I think the Homestead Grays is like the Negro League team. Oh, yeah. is so that what it's, it says? It's just oh, these, major these league are, and Negro League. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. So that's what that's what. Yeah, because uh, Satchel Page is probably, yeah. probably like a Negro, Negro League. league. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the, the Pirates. Yeah. Oh, so it just it literally goes along the, uh, the oh, river. Oh, okay. All right. So it's like all, all these, these little all these baseballs, giant True. baseballs. All right. I guess I'll uh, take a look. Yeah, he's from the '30s. This is actually really cool. To have like a baseball, yeah. like outside, 
That yeah. means it's accessible to like everyone. everyone. You don't have to. You don't have to go in. You don't actually have to go into the into the stadium. The stadium Whereas to, like the Mets, yeah, like their Hall of Fame. It's it's the, it's, it's, the in, it's, it's inside. inside, inside yeah. yeah, you have to get a ticket. Yeah. But this is actually really cool because it's like, like, it, it, like compared to the um, the the Wrigley Field Hall of Fame, I was kind of disappointed because it was literally just like a wall and like they didn't really have much like oh yeah the, yeah. the plaques yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It was, yeah that's yeah. true i was really you know, I, was, I was a little disappointed i was expecting more based on their history but yeah. something like this is, this is a nice way to do it like i think you know right yeah yeah but these guys are old like 33 32 40 to 49 so yeah. this is like way before our time. Hall of Fame, 2006 yeah that's so like that, a while well that's probably like um because like most of the like Negro League like players and stuff like that, uh -huh. they didn't really get like installed into the Hall of Fame until like later on. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Like most of them probably had already passed away before they got into the Hall of Fame, which it really sucks. Damn. Ah, this guy. This guy. Oh, they actually have his number on the side too. They don't have the numbers of anyone else? Not for the other ones I've seen. Wait, they put him in the Hall of Fame a year right after he retired? That's interesting. Usually, you're, you're, it's like a five or six year period. Exactly. Unless he might have passed away. I mean, look at this up. Hold on. That's so interesting. He died in 72. That's why. Oh. Yeah. oh this, this is really cool. Yeah, so we got. Yo, this really reminds me of like Dumbo Brooklyn. Because it's like right underneath the bridge, too. So it's <laughs> yeah, like... Exactly. <laughs> and they have a lot of bridges. Yeah. <laughs> Put the plaques out oh, here. Oh, and it's like they get like a little uh, yeah, and like brief history of written about yeah. So I guess if they do it out here, then it's not. It's, it wouldn't be in the park then. So then, what's in the park? They, they, probably, they probably don't have. They probably don't yeah, have one. Like, have like this a, is probably their like Hall of Fame like, uh, like 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 section if anything. I like that though. Because yeah, it's no, like, it's it's public. Available you know? to the public. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. So uh, it's very a very nice uh, Hall of Fame. Not as good as the Yankee Stadium one. The Yankee Stadium one's probably still, still the best. Still the best one, but yeah. this is like this a good one. This is like one. the best, like, free yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty cool because it kind of like just zigzags. So like it takes you, because we were at the um, the Riverwalk before. Now we're going to have to go up anyway uh, to go inside. So it's pretty convenient that they have it like zigzag. Yeah, the thing I'm reading about all these like Pittsburgh Pirates like players they're all like relevant in like the 80s and 70s yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you don't see anyone After the, in the 90s, 90s, like there wasn't, there was and even for the back of the 2000s, 2000s, like, yeah. like the pirates weren't really there, you know? So, that's yeah. still like unfortunate. It really is. Cause there's a lot of history here, you know? Yeah. And look, you, the land, you can see that they, 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 they have good players. They have good players and there, there's space for more to put more, but. I do like how they have the shape of the, the yeah. numbers as like their actual font. Yeah, yeah, it's like, so relevant to what, what they what they wore. Yeah. Oh, so they actually have like another like Hall of Fame. All right, we'll check it out when we get in. So it looks like there's like a block party. So I'm guessing they have this all the time, huh? Yeah. That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's part of what sports is doing. Is you want to just hang out with all the, all the sports people putting yeah. every time, right? So. It's true. Yeah, again, I, I kind of wish that uh, City, City Field, Field had something like this. Met the Mets did something like this. Yeah. yeah. There's really nothing going on outside of City Field. I'm Literally wondering. nothing. I mean, yeah. like, there's a seven line. Yeah. <laughs> true. But it's not the same. I don't know. Exactly. Like, you go to Yankee Stadium, they have, like, the whole neighborhood's like the neighborhood's like, like, like a all, bar and all Yankee stuff. Like, even what's really feels the same thing. Pay the same thing. City field's just it's kind of boring, do, you know. Yeah. Like everything's inside that park. Yeah. Why does it say 406? Longest home run? I don't know. <laughs> Longest home run? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. So what do you think so far? 
as far as the neighborhood and like the outside of the uh yeah no i think like the neighborhood of like pittsburgh of the, the stadium is actually like really cool like right um you know they got like a whole block party going around that's that's a really good plus right um you know you're by you're by the by the river so it's like got a really nice view of the skyline and then the hall of fame yeah the hall of fame is outside that's, so, like, that's actually really cool yeah like it's no this is like a really good park you know like, it, like i can see why this is one of the the, the highest rated park. baseball parks yeah and we haven't gotten in yet. Yeah, we haven't even gotten inside yeah, yet. Yeah, so that's pretty yeah, cool. We've... So if you had to give it like a rating, just for like the neighborhood and outside, the what would you give it? Uh, scale of one to ten. Yeah. It's at least an eight, eight and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah. I was thinking like nine. Yeah. No, I'm not mad at nine. You know. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's very highly. It's, it's a high rating for sure. You know? But I guess like, I'm also like comparing it to like City Field. That's true. Which yeah. Like, which is like a two and a half. <laughs> yeah. That's very very low. Very low. Yeah. You know? But yeah, this yeah. this is really impressive. Yeah. So it looks like there was like four statues. Yeah, there was uh, Roberto Clemente, then the, the Willie Star Stargo, Stargo, uh, Mar 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 and oh, this is uh, oh, oh, Homer's yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's four total four around. It like spread across like the whole uh, stadium. Huh? It's cool. The Mets only have one. And we just <laughs> got him. We just got him. Yeah. Like before that, it was just like the apple, like the home run ball. <laughs> Which that was like that's actually pretty cool. I actually really like that. But then like we just got our first uh, statue. Yeah, that's, that's not a good look. I don't know why it took us so long. So there is a little bit of a, um, excitement today. Where so today, right now, Andrew McCutcheon of the Pirates is one hit away from 3,000 hits. We, we can actually see him hit, make him hit, make history in some sense. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, that's yeah. that's a big deal yeah, though. Because yesterday, um, he hit 29.99. Yeah. But, and he hit two more, two more at bats after, but he didn't, he but didn't, he didn't hit the 3,000? He, he didn't get it. So today, Whoa. he gets one, it's, 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 he's there. Oh, I'm pretty excited now. <laughs> Perfect timing. <you> know? <laughs> right? Uh, we couldn't plan for that at all. <laughs> I feel like there's like an abnormal amount of Mets fans here today. Yeah, like almost to the point where this might be a home Home game, game for us. Mess. Which I mean, hey, we've not we haven't played that great, so I think we need it. But... <laughs> wow, this is big. Yeah. Yo, this view is actually so yeah. dope. Yeah. First impressions, I'm kind of like it. Kind of reminds me, like I like the steel because it kind of it speaks to like the town, the, the, town. Whole, the town, right? Yeah. The the whole the Pittsburgh steel, kind steel of town, steel yeah. town, yeah. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. But like, I don't know how it makes it different than like the other like. Yeah. City feels similar, like. Similar to that, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But you know, it's a uh, very, uh, it's a very nice touch. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll say. Yeah. See, they got the Fremonti brothers. Oh, yeah. That's cool. We have to get that. All right, true. Should we do it now or later? I'm not that hungry. Yeah, right now, we'll, so get, it we'll get it later. Pittsburgh cheesesteak. What the hell is that? Oh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Baker steak and blue. Oh, so like fried chickens. Yeah. Ballpark burgers. Oh, so they have like a really nice selection, huh? It's, it's a lot of variety. Oh, sweet spots. It's like. So you, like, ice, ice cream, ice cream and stuff. True. Oh, what the Ooh. heck? I like these like posters. Yeah. They're very like retro. Yeah. Like it's like a time capsule of like each like like decade in some yeah. sense. Like your fifties, nineties. But it's such like this is such an awkward like space though. It is, you know, for sure. Oh, nighttime here would be kind of cool because you got these oh, like the lights, these, like lights, and yeah. the lights from the, uh, the city. Yeah, the city. Yeah, these lights. Wow. Dang. Yo, this is dope. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Damn, right, we gotta go down it's one like level. Con this concourse is yeah. crazy. Yo, it's kind of like they know they have the best view yeah. of, in like MLB. Yeah. So that they're, they're like, really like, like, 
like using it, use, it. using it as their advantage. Yeah, and they they're doing a great job. Yeah. I think this is because this, this is, is so like cool. yeah, like who wouldn't want to just be like hang out by, by the waterside, drink drink some some beers, and yeah, like, right, just you know like enjoy taking the, the skyline, you know, like yeah, like I don't care about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> just like watch this view. Right, we're gonna head down now. There's like a lot of awkward levels. Huh? Yeah, it's like literally it's, it's so kid friendly. Yeah, huh? well I think this this is because like I think there's a playground over there for kids and stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I think this whole place is like for like kids like run around have fun stuff. Oh, what the heck? Like even inside there's like oh true, like Hall of Fame kind of memorable not memorabilia but, but like, like like information. Yeah, it's like, it's like a museum in itself. It's like Forbes Field. Yeah. Right. 1925 was when they first. Oh, World Series Championships. Yeah. Okay. That's cool though. This park is very kids friendly. Yeah. Huh? Like it is kids friendly, but it's like it's there's literally something for every age group. You know, you have a kid, oh, that's kid true. stuff. You got like adults, adults and everything else. You know, everything in everything, between. Everything honestly. You know, like, that's true. Like I would say, like they really covered like all their bases. All their huh? bases. No pun intended. But like yeah, like they like they, they make sure like when you come here, like everyone has fun. everyone has fun. You know. Mm -hmm. I can see. I can literally see why this is one of the, the best parks, like you know, all, in all of America. America yeah. yeah, there's so much to do here. Honestly, we may have to come back. Like, yeah, no, in the future, like yeah. annually. <laughs> yeah. I really like these pennants. I like the old logos. Something I've noticed specifically about like this one is that like, they really like preserve a lot of like the, the old history of the pirates and like kind of like oh yeah. that's so true because yeah. I feel like they didn't really do that for like the, the, the Mets as much yeah but I mean the Mets don't have as, as deep of a history, history either that's so true too. can't really compare you know yeah. oh these banners though yeah Barry Bonds oh yeah Barry Bonds was part of the pirates I completely forgot. Was he drafted by them? What? Was he drafted by them? Yeah. I wonder if you can watch the game from the hotel room. <laughs> the hotel room? Can you imagine? <laughs> this is like their their version of uh of, the, uh, the, 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 the rooftops. Yeah. But this is like the back up back part, so it doesn't work the same. <laughs> Seems like the food up here it's is not very it's all the same up here. Yeah, I, I think that's how every like stadium kind of does it. Where the like the main stuff is like downstairs. Downstairs, oh, and you can actually see the uh, the Steelers oh, Stadium. Oh, Steelers Stadium. What is it called? Is it uh, like Heinz? Field? Heinz, yeah, Heinz Field. This is a fairly small field, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's smaller. Like City Field is, is over 400 in center field, that's for sure. Right, exactly. So it's definitely smaller. And height wise too. Like this is only three levels? Yeah. Because with City Field has a has four 400 level. So. Yeah. This is actually really nice, huh? Yeah. I thought it was all just like hype at the beginning. No. But then, like this is the real deal. It's valid, it's valid. No, yeah. it's the real deal. This feels like no joke. Yeah. I can actually really imagine like at night. Yeah. Doing, it's, like, it would look, sure it look dumb. Yeah. Because we're in the 310, 310 section. Yeah. yeah, which is a little less than ideal, but yeah. like it's still not bad. Yeah. I think if we were in like on that section over there towards the left. Uh, oh, it would, it would be a way better view. Yeah. Yeah. Be a much yeah. better view. Yeah, but this is still really it's nice. good. Yeah, we do get a direct view of like the screen. <laughs> <laughs> the jumbo truck. Yeah, the jumbo truck. Is it common for like whole runs to go into the uh, Allegheny River? Nah, that's far, man. Like, yeah. I mean, it does seem pretty far. Yeah, that's far. That's, that's far. But I feel like my boy Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso, he might, he might be able to. <laughs> I gotta say, the R section is nice because. We don't have the sun yeah, beating no. down on us. The shade, the shade is uh, is good. Yeah. Sure. Like, cause if we were in that section, then like we'd yeah. be like, yeah, oh, we would be sweating, yeah. sweating bullets. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. All right, we're gonna grab something to eat now. Probably Fermanti Brothers. All right, so we got Fermanti Brothers, and it's like sandwiches. Yo, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Each each one was I think like a little under twelve dollars, like eleven fifty or something. It's huge. Yeah, they've got it's, it's bigger got, than I thought. Yeah, like it's, it's like got hefty. some. Yeah. All right, so we got the Pittsburgher and the the Capicola. Cap, yeah, the, the Gabagool. The Gabagool. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's got fries. Yeah, yeah, this is the Gabagool. Yeah. yeah. Dang, that looks mad good. Yeah. It's got the fries inside too. Yeah. 
All right, and then we got the... The Pittsburgher cheesesteak. That looks mad good, too. Yeah, that looks good. With all the fries and stuff? Yeah. All right, let's split half and half. Of course, sure. Oh, man. It's like... Per I, I was to say it's perfectly balanced. It's not like... Oh, for Yeah, it's not like one like flavor is like, out like doing another. It all kind of works together. Oh, yeah, shoot. This, this wow. is good, yeah. Damn, yo, it looks mad good. Yeah, no, like... This is good, this is good. Yeah, so there's a lot going on with this sandwich. It's like, it's spicy. It's, there's a little hint of sweet in there. Yeah. And then the, the, fries the fries is a nice touch. Yeah. Dude, there's so much going on with this. It's really good. To the, uh, the Pittsburgh cheesesteak. Which I think is their signature. So it's still pretty good. I think I like the Capicola a little better because like the meat has that like, kind of like kick to it. The spicy kick to oh, it. The spice? This one okay. doesn't really have that, have, have that much. Same one. Interesting. It's not bad though. You know, I'm not mad at it. Do you guys have anything for like first time visitors? Yes. What? They do it? Ah, we official out here. Yeah. <laughs> we do this every park now. Every park, every, every single park park we go to, I'm gonna ask like if they Cert do like a certificate. First, a first game certificate. Yeah. <laughs> So the game just ended, and we have some uh, we have some thoughts yeah. on uh, our experience today. Um, you guys saw our food. The food that we only got was the uh, Pramani Brothers. Yeah, but I think it was it was really good. Oh, it was super yeah, solid. It's, uh, Though, like as I ate it, yeah, the fries I noticed that they didn't really have flavor. Yeah, yeah. It was more of a texture, if anything. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, to me, it's I wouldn't enjoy the fries on its own. Like it seemed, right. it seemed very soggy. But I think in the sandwich, it like it works. works. So. Yeah. As far as the other like choices, as far as food goes, I think it was actually a pretty good selection. Mm -hmm. It was like a big selection of yeah. different like things. Yeah. You know, like there's pizza. Pizza. You, know, you get your hot dogs, hot burgers, dogs, chicken. Pierogi like, was was fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. pierogies. Uh, a bunch of different bars and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah. What kind of rating would you give the food? Food. Uh. Above average, so we'll, so we'll say maybe like a 7, 7.5, you know? I think, okay. You know, uh, still, I still think City Field probably has better, better food. food. But like, uh, again, we didn't try much here. That's so true, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I, but, I would give them like an 8 just yeah. to like benefit of the doubt, yeah. you know? But like, it's, I think that's fair, yeah. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, but it's good. Definitely, yeah. definitely recommend the food here. Yeah. In terms of, I guess, fan experience mm. and just the overall atmosphere. Atmosphere. What would you, what would you, what are you thinking? In terms of rating? Not rating, just like, what are your oh, thoughts? About, about it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think for fan experience, it's it's up, it's up there, man. Like, it's you don't have to be a fan of baseball to come here and, and have a good time, I think. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. they have plenty of, you know, bar space where, like, with people just chilling and just drinking and they, they're having a good time, too, you know? They, you know, yeah. if you're not a fan of baseball, you can probably come here and have, and still have, have a, 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 good a, fun, a good time, you know? Fan interaction, there was a, there was a good amount. It's, I would say it's on par with, like, City Field. Yeah, no, I'm not, um, yeah. I'm, and then I think, like, the overall atmosphere as far as, like, Pirates of Pittsburgh fans yeah. goes, I think they were pretty, like, supportive of their hey, team. they stayed the entire night, you know, till the, to the end of the yeah. ninth inning, you know? Like, that, there was respect to, to that, you know? Yeah. Um, props to the Pittsburgh fans, for sure. Definitely. But there was also a lot of Mets fans, too. Yeah, you know, I don't know what, what that was about, but... Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> it, was almost, it, was, it was almost a Mets home game in some sense, you know? But, yeah. Um, I mean, at one point, they were more, like... Let's go Met chance. Yeah. Man. Let's go Bucks. We we kind of touched upon the um, the scenic view or like the um, just the view of before the, before, before uh, we got into the stadium, right? Well, when we sat down, oh, okay. like yeah. our our viewpoint and just like the overall scene and like the Pittsburgh skyline, the backdrop. Yeah. What do you what do you what do you rating would you give it or like what do you think? Uh, I give that like a nine nine and a half, man. That was uh. Oh wow. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I was gonna give it a ten. A ten. Uh, yeah, you know, screw it. Yeah, maybe I'll give it a ten as well. You know, it's it's 
it's definitely like the focal point of the entire stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that, like that, the view alone of, of the of the the, the um, skyline is worth the amount of the the, 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 mission. the mission of getting into the game. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, maybe it's maybe it's, I don't know. I can't really find, think of something, but. Um, yeah. I guess I guess it depends maybe, on maybe where it's you just, sit. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah. I think maybe just um, yeah. Like the, our section wasn't necessarily the best to get in the entire view of the skyline, but you know. I it think was, it was still good. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah. Like we were in the right field, yeah. or uh, the first. The base. first first baseline, like, all the yeah, way up top. And yeah, and we got a. I, I would say a really good view. I, yeah. I, I had no complaints. Yeah. But there is a better view, which is on the, the third, third, third base, third side, base yeah. side. Yeah. yeah. That side that's, must that's give you like the best yeah. view. But you wouldn't have to deal with the sunlight. That, I think that would. That's true. Like we know. said before, the uh, sunlight didn't really hit us. Yeah. But it was still really warm. I guess yeah. because like we were just like, so close with everyone. Yeah. It was just like, like elbow there was a elbow. lot of people. Yeah. yeah. So, but otherwise, the the scene and the view is just fantastic. Now overall, what would you what would you give it, or like what would you say? So they say this is the best ballpark in America, or you know, of, of all of them. I can't disagree with it. It's got to be like a nine point eight, man. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> like, like, shoot. Yeah, I, I, I really can't. I really can't uh, uh, argue with it. With that, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. I can't really find too much fault because yeah. everything was. Just, I had yeah. such a great experience. Right. Like from getting the. Uh, the certificate the first time certificate that was oh, i love yeah. that and then uh, i got my little souvenir we got it was also promotion day yeah. so there was a Bob bunch of stuff yeah mm -hmm. uh definitely give it like a 9.5 9.8 yeah. yeah no you're right i think this is definitely one of the top yeah. uh baseball fields yeah. all right so uh we didn't mention this before but this is actually a day trip so after we film this we're gonna drive right back to new york yeah. so we got like a seven hour drive if if the mets had lost today Mets won today, by the way, five five one. But if the Mets had lost today, this seven hour drive probably would have been pretty bad. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It was still a fun experience. Yeah. So we got a long drive back. Yes. Uh, this is where we sign off. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We release videos every week. So we'll see you next week. Peace.